Oh, got a game. An even TV game. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, against Dark Elves. I mean, this is... Although it's even TV, I think I won't be favourite due to not having any tackle and him having a wealth of blodge. Well, he's only got 11 players, though, and he hasn't got that much blodge either, has he? One... Like, two blodge, really? Wow. What's his record? I don't, I'm not a fan of how he's built his team 12-3-7. All right, that's good. All right. All right, he's a pretty... This could be all right, then. I'm probably about 40% to win this. <laughs> if, if I was Andy Tiff. <laughs> um, right, no, no, no bashing, no bashing, no bashing. That's not really bashing. That was just a funny little joke that I made. Um... Yeah, such a shame that Pommers missed next game. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, stat ups hurts. Well, it doesn't hurt for dwarves, does it? Dwarves are amazing. Dwarves are like uh, dwarf chorfs and dwarves love a plus strength, don't they? And woodies as well. War dancers love a plus strength. Um, but pretty much everything else, it's uh, it's blow. Pretty much everything except, I would say, war dancers, long beards, chuff blockers. Um, yeah, exactly. Dwarves have everything they want. They just turn into a super. They just turn into a super fucking uh, super black orc, don't they? If they get plus strength, they're just unbelievable. They're just like a fantastically leveled up black orc, apart from the thick skull, but they get it for free. <laughs> yeah, there you go, TLC. <laughs> oh, I'm out of that. <laughs> yeah, and obviously Woody, Woody's just start with everything. Like all they need extra is like tackle or strip or both and sidestep. But really, they could just have, they could just take all stats. Woody's uh, war dancers, couldn't they? I call war dancers Woody's just because that's all the team is. A bit like how I call gutter runners Skaven, <laughs> because fuck the rest of the team, really. Right, so I guess we've got strength guys. The, the guard guy is blitzable. And then the strength guy's kind of movement. Movement could sit out, actually, because he has only got movement. I don't want to put him in the OS. But... I can put him there. And then him there. And now it becomes much better, doesn't it? And then I've definitely got best for go to go and get the ball. And he's got two strippers, hasn't he? Wrestle. He's got a strength guard guy. Two runners. But like just no dodge. Hardly any dodge. Two blodge and one dodge. Don't hate that like sitting. Sitting here. Because putting him on the LR seems dumb, doesn't it? Sini, <laughs> hello Sini. Sini. Yeah, Storm Vermin are nice, but still. They're still not good runners. Exactly TLC. I don't like them because they are a seven. Also, <laughs> also, I made, I made a Skaven team called called One Turn Claw. <laughs> and I didn't get a one turn or a claw <laughs> on it. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't have a record. He doesn't have a very good record. But, I mean, he's missing blodge, isn't he? Like, taking AV instead of dodge is bad, isn't it? He'd rather... It'd be better with dodge. He'd be better with dodge and block instead of movement seven and strip. He'd be better with dodge instead of leader. He'd be better with dodge instead of... what? What's that? Show sure hands? Yeah, I'd still take dodge first. So, if he'd, if he'd spam dodge a bit more, he'd seem to be a lot better. Plus, his pom is missing, which is huge, isn't it? 
And Pearl wouldn't say it'd be easy. He's still at elves. He's still elves. He can still roll dice, can't he? But um, the fact that it's even TV, he's only got 11 players, hasn't got that much dodge. Um, there's a chance. But in winning the toss, if I'd won the toss, I think it would have been pretty much easy because I would expect to do a lot of damage. And uh, maybe he's winning 2 0. But now I think he's going to score early and it's going to be, you know, having to, diff having to score against 11 players with strippers and stuff. It's not going to be totally easy at all. Ooh, one of the witches has a nibble. That's exciting. Ooh, blocks. I've got another blitz. I've like won three blitzes in the last few days. It's fucking crazy. I could blitz this guy and then put people around him. I'll just blitz in here and wall these guys off. I don't want to get surfed though, do I? Really wouldn't like to get surfed. That's kick, not strip, isn't it? Is that kick and movement? Not a bad player. So he's only got. So he's only actually got one strip then. Could blitz him. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Bit risky to get surfed, isn't it? Could blitz him and then. Five times out of eight. It's going to a decent kind of scatter. Could just blitz him. Right, it's the skilled up one that's got the nibble. Could wall this off a bit. Put him on net, protects him. Obviously, basing with strength four isn't isn't too scary, is it? And then have a bit of a safety. Yeah, if I, if I, if I blitzed him and then put two players here, that might have been a good idea. Yeah, exactly. Plus, it would have killed his armor eight guy. On a nine guy. Mm -hmm. Touch back about 99% shit. Sure. Nah, it wasn't, was it? It was about five times out of eight to not be. I rolled a one. So, putting the tackle zones on the ball, which I thought about doing. Wouldn't have really, wouldn't have really mind because he used the reroll anyway. Glorious. <laughs> He's got two runners, but picks up with a blitzer anyway. Yeah, it is safer against a touchback. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, obviously that that was the obvious reasoning behind it. Oh, right, so he can. He's got no fucking respect, has he? Fucking getting his level up. He's gone full in Aryan. Yeah, it is safer against a touchback. But then. It's a big question, isn't it? Is that, is that what's best? You just don't know, do you? It is 9 p.m. UK time. Uh, well, GMT, UTC, whatever you want to call it. 9 p.m. It's it's good. They they, they had they had a they had an agenda, and uh, luckily they've got rid of some of the kind of irrelevant items on it. There were some irrelevant things on. 
um, completely irrelevant things. So I was glad, I'm glad that they've been removed. Um, what there is, and they've obviously taken away the flashpoint of TV Plus, which is, uh, you know, a good idea maybe for people not getting hit up about it, but then also it's bad because I would like to Netheos to know how bad TV Plus is. <laughs> or how much people don't like it. I mean, I'll just say that. I'll just say just so Netheos knows a lot of people don't like TV Plus. <laughs> I don't want to argue the maths of it. But, um... Because you can't argue the maths of TV Plus. You can't argue the stats of it and everything. But you can certainly say that people don't like it. It's not really a super summon. That's all the belong. It's more just, you know, actually getting to speak to Nethios, really. So I'd, I'd like him to know how much everyone hates. Well, not everyone. Most people hate TV Plus. And hate the idea of TV Plus. Because I imagine all of the, uh, all of the other nice people won't want to say anything controversial, will they? they just want to, you know, all get along. Wasn't that much safer against the Shushback, was it? He made all his dice rolls without dodge. Don't want to get a... Uh... Oh, he's just coming back as a safety man. Safe moves first. He's the only score, so I guess get rid of the score threat and then think about everything else afterwards. Very dodgy for him, isn't it? Need uh, need to jam things in. I think that stops him reversing a bit. And there's a bit out in front here as well. I'm not sure what his play is here. But I like stopping him getting the easy two plus out. Broadly parallel, always good. Yeah. Good afternoon, Bucket Bomb. Hello, VIP Squirrel Dude as well. Yeah, that was. I mean, that was where he had to put his guard, wasn't it? So maybe I should have. Maybe I should have put that that beast man there, so he couldn't do that. But then, he would have had the 2 plus out.
Oh, well, he followed, he followed into a claw might and blow it. And so, oh, that's interesting, isn't it? That was a frenzy trap, wasn't it? That was a, that was a uh, two into a one there. Just quietly. So I guess he's got to blitz this guy now, hasn't he? He's committed to blitzing this this chap. Well, he can go in from that angle, yeah. Fair enough. Nasty. Armour breaks coming. Whenever they take a long time. Oof. Yeah, that's true, Crazy Lino. Yeah, he's a good target for Crow, precisely for that reason. But still, it's not easy for him to protect the ball here, is it? Still, like, it's. Is he going to run away? Got four re rolls though, so even if he needs team re rolls, it doesn't hurt that much. Yeah, the 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 witch with the skills is not good. Ah, oh, there you go. Made his made made his roll. Yeah, I can't rely on him using a re roll. To be fair. After I weakened, weakened the screen by not letting him get out, he got out anyway. Yeah. Never mind. Right, this is a good place for him to stand anyway. Blitzing her would let us wall everything off. Still get in there with a the guard anyway. So it's just whether to blitz this scoring threat or this scoring threat. Or this one. I think these aren't blitzing. Bracket him. Want to do a GFI though? I guess he should have gone in there actually. Could GFI at the end? Could base the ball. <laughs> He'd probably get served. Could just hit him. Yeah, he should have gone there and he should have gone there. He could base there and he could uh oh, it's split here. Yeah, 
that was bad. That was bad. Bracketing him sideways. Should have gone there and there. Looking like he's got us now because I've got more top side than him. He should be able to screen it pretty easily. Maybe get him to score turn four would be alright. Possibly. Rather. That is a dark of why no one's just trying this isn't there. Big ball. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should have put the warrior in there. Rather than just doing nothing here. But I wanted him further nearer the end though. Really you should have GFI'd him at the end, maybe. But then if you if it's a one and he's on his ass. And I guess it's only three instead of two, so. But then this way, if he doesn't dodge him out, he gets to smash him with claws, and, which is good. Just couldn't put enough pressure on him, really. I didn't. Maybe he's gone for the score this time. So that seems a big commitment. Like, why would you make that blitz if you're not going to score? Because I would, if I wasn't going to score, I would have made like a cage here. It was easy for him to make a cage here because it just wasn't in him enough. To be honest, Lil Baz, not really. Not really any suggestions for the Cyanide tonight. I just want Nethios to know how much the community doesn't like TV+. Plus. I mean, the problems that people... Ah, well... Shall I, shall I have a look at the agenda? Shall I have a look at the agenda here? I should. I'll prepare. I'll prepare now for tonight. That's a good idea, isn't it? Okay. Mm, yeah, it did score. Okay. So the strip's the only thing, isn't it? And it's 11 versus 10. I guess carrying with string 4 is better to make it, you know, with blocks uphill. With a strip. But he's only got one strip anyway, so not too scary. Does have the edge 5 who can go anywhere with three rolls. It's really dumb. One of the things is is diverse team diversity in Champs Ladder. What options are there to make less less popular teams more appealing? Make them better, but that ain't gonna happen, is it? So people are like that's just a problem with Blood Bowl, isn't it? That's just a problem with Blood Bowl. Is that you're the hammer the, or the nail, and nobody likes being the fucking nail all the time. It's what it's the problem with claw. It's not, you know. Everyone says about claw pom and that, but if you fix, if you fix claw pom, it's claw pom's a symptom, not the disease, isn't it? You know, people complain about complain about claw pom, uh, dirty play before that, and it just goes deeper than that, doesn't it? 
So. And it's not really a round table, is it? Because there's about fucking 14 people in there. <laughs> um, is it being broadcast? There may be coding changes because. Uh, dulled, well, you could always things. give players 10. Oh, oh, oh. Bits to get people to play less popular teams, Kappa. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That is true, Tony. That is true, yeah. Um, mostly it's a shut up and listen to Nethios and Dold, I think. <laughs> um, I think that's, that's what it mostly is, because there's, there's too many cooks for the broth, isn't there? Hello, Hessian. VIP Hessian. <laughs> oh dear. Let's not be insulting, Shawnee. Let's not be insulting. Um, let's not be insulting. Or nasty or anything. But, um, yeah, it's like this. And, yeah, I don't know. Look, it's mostly. Mostly not. There's not a lot you can do without changing the coding, is there? Changing coding is what fixes problems. Changing Blood Bowl would fix problems. But they don't want to change the rules and they don't want to do coding. So, <laughs> with those two, uh, those two limitations, you're pretty much incredibly limited in what you can actually do, can't you? Go for the non-block guy to try and get the lucky power. Is that a good idea? So no changes in rules and no coding. Well then BB is perfect. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, pretty much. That's the thing. It's a bit it's a I think it'll be a bit of a damn squib because of that. But the things that are on the table, which is the prize money thing. Oh, I was gonna carry the string four, wasn't I? Maybe we should have one less person on the LOS here. Ooh, I'll put the put the second LO, the secondary LOS hitters there, so that these can come back and protect the ball a bit. Protect against the blitz better, doesn't it? And also protecting the ball a bit more. Okay. Um. A damn squid, a damn squib. Squid. Play chess if you don't like it. <laughs> Classic. Maybe we'll get three dice on him then, eh? That seems worthwhile. Even though it means no follow-up blocks, there's still le less risk involved then, isn't there? Also, there's no chance of somebody other than Strength 4 catching it. So safe moves first is literally just the three dice block. With block. Issue of getting surfed, isn't there? Which is a bit of an issue. Off another free dice. Huh? Mm -hmm. So that guy can get blitzed by the claw guy. Oops. Get 
one little fight and my mum gets scared. Fucking blocking. Two, the one two dice block that I make is a fucking double skull. It's fucking typical, isn't it? Can three dice him? Can three dice him and then that frees the claw to protect the ball. Maybe go there, screen, to stop him breaking through there. Now the edge 5 just runs through, picks it up, lose, seems good. Well, that's the thing, it would push his win percentage towards 50%, but he would still be remarkable because he could still consistently win down three pawns, whereas the other really good players would only be able to win when they were consistently down two pawns <laughs> and stuff like that. That's the idea of TV Plus, isn't it? Well, what are the things people want to talk about? What people want to talk about is coding, isn't it? That's the thing. That's the thing, Shawnee. That's what. That's the problem with it. Is who care? And, and, and it's so... It's And, you know, Voodoo Mike says it's self-correcting. It's so self-determining. That's the problem. Like, you know, one... One win versus one loss. There's a hundred TV difference. It's outrageous. It's absolutely outrageous. You know? That's the, that's the thing. Like, full TV plus. Full TV plus. Uh, there's two things. There's TV plus matching and there's full TV plus. Dode is fully behind full TV plus. Um, which is just outrageous, you know? That's it. But the see, thing is, removing the unfair kickoff results... Exactly, two wins versus one loss is a wizard, which is outrageous. So straight away, it's just, it's just, it's just pulling people back so quickly. It it rubber bands so quickly. That that's the issue with it, you know. That's the that's the issue with the TV plus. Full TV plus is, um, your TV includes your your TV plus. But you see, you don't avoid the quitting. It doesn't really protect shitters. But full TV Plus has res, so that does that does kind of encourage more L's and everything. Yeah, and so does inducements. Yeah, exactly, the inducements are based off it as well. So not only would you be 500 TV down of real TV, you also wouldn't get any inducements to help you. Yeah, I think full TV Plus would be the end of the ball too. I really do. Um, yeah, fair enough. Oh, and Mordrick, by the way. Um, yeah, yeah, it's funny, you know. Yeah, yeah, but they're just not going to do that, are they, a crazy name? And that's the thing. You know? But it already does. Your win and loss record does affect TV, TV, your TV in a way with, with fan factor, doesn't it, you know? Wait, you <laughs> ring all the board down into a skull. <laughs> Classic. Classic. That's fun, isn't it? Unfortunately, having a jump up guy there is pretty fucking amazing. He was also one dicing into an uphill, which was fucking Larry. We could blitz him, couldn't I? That seems it seems like something I definitely want to do. Defenseless.
Three players to, to knock him down? No, I don't want him knocked down. Think now we can get a surf in here. He probably can if it's what he wants. I don't want it if I put too many people there. It's too easy for him to uh, to get chains, isn't it? save him a bit but then it could also expose him complicated turn isn't it I'd like more than one and a half minutes to think this through I think that witch else shut down there, which is good. At the moment it's pretty easy to surf him, but I just don't want to be able to surf the other one. Hmm. Let's just jam him in here. Try to push forward. See what happens. It's the best way, isn't it, to see what happens. Kick off a fence or fair fun and part of the immersion. They can be though, can't they? And they do create stories and that, so there's pluses and minuses to everything, you know? The bank rule's good though, isn't it? It would be the inducement phase. The bank rule is the only stops that is the only thing that stops this inducement inducement phase falling into ruin. So Yeah. But fun fact is a bit like it though, isn't it? You know? It's a bit like it. Seeing it converge on 10 or 13 regard whatever your record, but if you've won your first eight, you're going to be eight, and it is going to be a, a handicap at low TV, isn't it? Where most games are played, so it's uh, early on. It's it's a thing, and really all 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 TV plus is is it jacks up the effect of fan factor and makes it not roll not rolling dice base. Yeah, exactly. Help me, mate. It, there's pluses and minuses to everything. You can't just say things are shit, really. Every there is. It, yeah, a really good game should be fun, even when you're losing. Good ball could be that, but isn't at the moment. That's a very good point, Ardback. It still is like that in tabletop, I think. And the problem is the anonymous nature of the online football, you know? Yeah, exactly, a crazy Lima. Yeah, that's horrible, isn't it? I mean, that. I think everyone should agree that, that the, yeah, that's good. The Apple being automatic. Yeah, it should be a guaranteed save, yeah. Yeah, it should be. I agree. I agree. Yeah, exactly, BZL. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. PD and P hieroglyphic, yeah, and Brits, yeah. You can technically defend again, but you can't if you've been out bashed, you know? And then, then it just be it just adds more woe woe and misery. Which is not good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> they do, they do, but not to the same extent, though. You know, that's the thing. It's not the same extent. He's a fucking. He's been able to bloody do things, isn't he? Right. So that was okay, though. Cause I was scared about getting surfed that turn. This turn, I can crash into him, can't I? And uh, hopefully, Kaz this guy. He's a real pain in my asshole. No, don't, don't, Kaz him. I'm okay with him knocking him down because at least it'll take two people and it's a blodger that's uh, you know out of the equation it's got a fucking mash forward haven't it despite the danger of getting sir oh, actually this is better isn't it stick him on there shame there's a guard there I guess I guess I should have put the guard in there rather than the strength guy. Too late now. Though. What are the great points, though? What are the great points, Ardvark? Tell me the great points. Remove the stigma of conceding. Yeah, exactly. That that's the thing. But again, do squirrel dude, Dord has a bee in his bonnet about conceding. So that ain't gonna change. Anything, you know, the things that Dord are firm about will not change, and there's no point bringing them up because it'll just make me look toxic and everything, and you know. Yeah, that's and that's true, Harry Koo. It's the nature of this thing of if people are too easy, if people concede like they do in open, then you have crazy kill teams. So yeah, that's true. Apple always saves, right? Yep, thank you. <laughs> but again, I I think rules discussions are off the off the table. In this time, anyway, but maybe in future. Can I use the team rule? Mm, no, I don't like that. <laughs> Blitz and riot removed. <laughs> Again, you know, I just don't think. Not scumming wizards, yeah. Find a way to get access to the code. All right. Okay, that one. All right. Fan fucks here. Okay. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to be like, oh, me hardly finish a game. Yeah, that's fair. But still, this still shouldn't be the, the stigma, I think. Yeah, modding tools, yeah. Yeah, okay, modding. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> He's fucking got everyone out, hasn't he? Just roll some dice. This one is the guy that blitz to get into everybody. But it still doesn't. I want to blitz him because he's defenseless. Turn 7. I can't switch sides or anything. I just haven't removed anybody. And he's got everyone there. And there's just nothing I can do, is there? Just pushing this guy every turn. Ain't gonna fucking cut it, is it? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking push that guy. Oh, 
Oh, what the fuck? Oh, no. Alright, good. No, Shawnee, no. <laughs> It's only a few two plus dodges, like, it's fucking annoying as fuck, isn't it? Exactly, BZL, exactly, exactly. That's the fucking thing, isn't it? It's best to not bring up any rule changes because of that, yeah. Exactly, Mr. Yemendam, yeah. Yeah. So that yeah, this is the this is the problem, you know? The things that the things that are important I don't think can get changed or even considered in this kind of thing. <laughs> We should have a round table on Shawnee's channel, an actual round table on Shawnee's channel. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea on my channel. I could do a, a round table of absolute ineffectiveness on my t channel, yeah. Yeah, let's talk about things that may know the difference. No, yeah, that was, that was on the menu and now it's not. Yes, exactly, Grindel, yeah. Yeah, that is it. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Ardvac, yeah, that's it. Yeah, exactly, Cyanide can't make a complete overhaul of the rule set. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, that's, that, that, that's what's needed, isn't it, for online Blood Bowl, really. It really is. Simple as. Pretty hard when they just roll two pluses. <laughs> there's not, there's nothing you can really do, is there? And roll, and you roll pushes, and they roll two. You need to roll a one here. No. If he rolls a three, one or a two here. Yeah. All right. There's something that can happen. He stuns himself after getting blitzed, <laughs> blitzed by Claw continuously. He's finally removed when he makes a dodge. So I can blitz him and then get in people. Mm, not much in there, but can get. I can't get in there either. Could get two in there. Because if I blitz there, then I'm only going outside there. But I can get people in here. You can also, and it gets more central as well then. Of course, it's a fucking push, mate. Oh, Christ. Right, can we get there? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have to just go here. Which is fucking rowdy. I kind of regret not having it on Movement 7 guy now. Mm. 
Movement 7 guy needs to be an outlet, doesn't he? He doesn't have a scoring threat, so that's good. Can go all in. He can base both of those. You can just roll some two pluses and <laughs> screen it off. <sighs> Inducement phase talk is clear on the agenda. No, it isn't. It was, but now it's not. <laughs> there you go, school dude. Um... Yes, limiting's coming to 40k is, is what the financial fair play is, isn't it? Isn't his witch? No, it's his turn 8 now, so no. It was, it was before, but um, it's, it, he received it in me, so. So at least I won't be 2-0 down at the half. <laughs> it's coming to 40k max might be a thing, yeah. I mean, it's it's a thing that Dode has already got in the champs ladder, so... I mean, I think the scumming 40k... ...would be a good change. Especially as I find it financial fair play. I think that putting that in the ladder, if it was possible, would be better than... Because they're just refusing to... They're outright refusing to make, use the real rules. So... <laughs> yeah, Jolly looks funny, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Geomancer, matchmaking is very bad, sorry. There's not much you can do about it. Yeah, so limit the in, limit the scumming to forty k. Ooh, that's good. He wasted his bits over there. Well, I'll say wasted. It's not. He did free up two people. But I mean, they could have two plus away anyway, couldn't they? So. He's L screen correctly, hasn't he? Here. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. This is how you L screen correctly. Don't get anybody killed against a fucking kill, Chaos Kill team and don't have anybody. Uh, don't let him roll any pals. <laughs> the, only, the only damage happened when he failed a dodge. <laughs> fucking hell. I mean, I can just make a two, three plus dodge to score, can't I, at the end of the day? Three, two, two to score. Don't think I can get anything better than that. Blitz this guy, and then just go... One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. So dodging a GFI to score. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. Three, three, two. I don't think anything's getting easier than that. I mean, I could hand off to him. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. But then it'd still be a three plus two plus. And even if I can't clear him anyway. So yeah. Blitzing with a carrier doesn't change anything. Could make it three dice if I've got a strength four to blitz, but he's over here. So. One, two, three. Where do I want to be here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's the way I want to do it. 
So we just need a push. Double it. Might as well follow. Could do a three dicer here. Mighty blow, but I don't just don't care, do I? It's another thing I could fail. Three plus two plus. So I mean all that half, <laughs> that entire half of making of screening all the way. I mean I don't know what the I don't know what the odds of a three plus two plus to score, but they're not bad, are they? That's what I don't like about the passive. The passive L screen defence, if, if they can get a little way through. And you know, he, he made that you could call it a misplay, but if he'd gone further back then I could just blitz one and done the handoff to score, so Right, 11 versus 11, second half. Glad to see I've bashed the fuck out of them with all these mighty blow claw players. I don't think you could have made it a 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus instead. I did fill all four dodges with the rerolls yesterday, yeah. <laughs> One KO. <laughs> no, if he hadn't offset the screen and he had reborn, if he if he hadn't offset the screen, I would have blitzed the guy on the end and done a handoff two GFIs to score. So, you know, that was the thing because I got quite far forward and quite central. Is it? Huh? Yeah, but if that's what I'm saying, if it was parallel, it would have let me do a handoff double GFI to score. So, it wasn't that easy for him. But it was still been better, obviously. It was still been better making a 3 plus, 2, 2, 2 pluses to score. It's better than a 3 plus and 1, 2 plus. But, I think the guy holding the edge then wouldn't have had block. So, it wouldn't have been the 1 in 9 to clear it. Um... Yeah, I, just, I think the thing with the issues is, I think the thing with the issues is that it's it's not easy, is it? <laughs> and but spinning multiple teams is the is the biggest thing, isn't it? Because that should just fucking happen, right? He scored there, didn't he? So he's he's leveled up, so that's good. Um, could give it a strength guy now. So that he's uh, he's safer against, you know, a non wrestle hit, and uh, also will get him levelled up. Or if he does a pass, it would also be good. Defended a bit against the blitz, the blots. No, oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not. I'm not going to try and uh, and uh, go off. I can't see the players' things on the quick snap. Are you shitting me? And I can see them now. Pretty nice kick for me. Three dice, safe moves first. Oh, hey, got a removal. Lads, boys, lads, boys, lads. I'm a nine. Good job you've got that. And not dodge. that do protecting the ball wise means he goes there he 
he goes that. So I can blitz him at, at the end with a claw guy. Oh God, made the pickup. Actually outrageous. Shit. Should have hit a non-dodge gun. Yeah, today's thing is for Andy promotion, yeah. Absolutely busy though, yeah. Yeah, that is it. That is it. The, today's thing is to get everyone to watch Andy Davos stream. That is, <laughs> that is the point of today. <laughs> um, but if as a bright byproduct for that, um, then maybe, yes, exactly, if it goes well, you might be able to get, we might be able to get ideas heard, which would be alright, wouldn't it? So yeah, just start off gentle, very gentle, and try, try to let people think it's gone well. Hopefully people think it's gone well. And then, and then after that, You know. No, but you don't need to get everything out in the first time, though, do you? That's the thing, hard work. Go gentle first. Get them to think, you know. Get, get them to know things. You're going for the 5 plus strip. Fucking bastard. He fucking gets it as well. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> fuck fucking you. He rolled a double one, though it's still a horrifying prospect in the backfield. Um, someone else can go for the pickup, though, I guess. No, let's make this block first, in case it's a pal. It is. So he can go there. So there's still there's a lot of stuff to go through, a lot of tackle zones, dodges to be made if he goes for it. Oh baby. Put that 
Ne? Can't believe you're all the double arm. Got a man advantage as well. Well, Nethios is there though. McNaughton, so. Forgot this is Twitch chat battle lately. <laughs> oh, I can't say, I don't know, I can't see everything what's been written, but yeah. Um, Nethios is only focused though, so. Yeah, if things don't make cyanide money, why would they bother? Exactly, McNaughton. Exactly. And the things that are going to make the money is probably nothing, because that shit has sailed. So why should cyanide even care or do anything, you know? You know? Fuck off. He didn't even have a reroll for that one. He's just gonna go ham every turn, stripper. Wish I'd show her hands. I guess to punch him. Oh fuck. I quite like the idea of having lots of stuff here. Oh yes, that's a good scatter. And three dice his pick and he gets a push. Fuck you! Fuck you, you fucking fuck! Oh my god! <laughs> He's had ten dice without rolling a skull. <laughs> fuck off! Yeah, McNaughton, yeah, and look, I, you know, I do, I do, I do appreciate a lot of the things Dode's done. I'm not saying that just because I'm being nice now. Um, it's true, isn't it? But he does, he does agree with things that are bad. Mm -hmm. I can't believe he three red dice does. Without no with a reroll, but he hasn't he hasn't had to use them in ten uphill, ten dice uphill hasn't he had to use a reroll is disappointing, isn't it? Claw Mighty Blow Warrior could get the ball, maybe. No, there's no book. No. Oh, this. Hmm. If he doesn't break armor, he might be able to get the ball. Don't really want to scatter the ball, but it's an option, isn't it? We have to get that witch elf down. Oh wow, that's brilliant, brilliant move. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> that was nice of him, wasn't it? We've got the POW chain away now. Silly boy. 
So that is him freed up now. He can go here, then he can block her away. And he can blitz him and pick up. even powder. Man, he, he wrecked himself with that with that last move. He should have checked himself before he wrecked himself. Bad thing is that no one can blitz except him, but four, five, three, four, five, six, and then GFI into there. And then someone else can come in there and then he can 2D him away. He can 2D him away. Oh, I could have pu pushed him into there, into there, and then it would have been one less square. Oh, so that was bad, wasn't it? That was pretty bad. him. Yeah, it's just that that's the image that I've got though, uh, McNaught Massive. Yeah, yeah. yeah, not 12 people, yeah, they've got too many people in, haven't they? Um, I wasn't before Brunhill, but I am feeling a bit better now, thank you. The new leaf being turned over is not being as much of an asshole. Yeah, exactly. The way chance works is not part of what, not what needs to be changing it again more fun. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, there is an ag agenda with points in the queue. I suppose not going to show it anymore. I can't believe the double one on the pickup there, fuck's sake. I can't believe he's fucking had ten dice at the ball carrier. And hasn't rolled a skull. <laughs> I'm like, Bosh, one and nine on the pickup. He can be away here, can't he? And I couldn't get anyone through there to like, obviously a player here would have been amazing, like if this guy could have just gone to there before I tried the pickup. But I couldn't even get anyone over that side, and obviously the ball goes that, that way. Like, probably one of the worst possible squares. All of these squares. I mean, this square, <laughs> these two would have been amazing, wouldn't they? Or whatever. But it goes to one of the worst possible squares. With not being able to get anyone out there. I mean, this is where I would have liked somebody first. But just literally couldn't do it. I could have made a one dice block or something. I don't know if it's meant to be public or not, Ardvac. So, you know. Yeah, 
any change how there's no general consensus exactly it's fucking it's tough it's a t bro bro online blood ball is a fucking tough quandary isn't it he's just gonna put tz's on it no he's not he's, oh, he's just a five plus it's not even hard Not even hard, is it? <laughs> right, I think I'll go for the go for the scatter because it just can't be that bad for me. It's already in three tackles. I was like, I could have tried to clear them with a chain and a blitz, but it's in such a dangerous area at the moment I thought it couldn't get too much worse but it seems to have gotten worse when it comes out here yeah yeah okay it didn't manage I didn't manage to get it worse um okay he needs to block this way now right block without block scary to clear that tackle zone. If I don't get to pick it up with I could pick up the claw gun. I don't really want to pick it up with the warrior though do I? Two, one, two, three, four, five, out. Put more strength at the front. Where's the strip witch elf? Is the strip witch elf the one that got knocked out? Yeah, it was. Alright, so with strip not being an issue, movement guy, or, oh, this strength guy could get it. And it's just at the limit of his movement, so that's perfect. turn at the end of the day. Whew. Okay now. Yeah, jam the tenth, yeah. And look, Cyanide have got the option to remove them. So you could say you could petition them to to make the champs ladder not have kickoff events, you know, if that was a thing. And yes, kickoff results are a factor in what makes the game unfun to play, but they're also what makes the game fun to play as well, <laughs> you know, for, for a lot of people. I'm <laughs> giving him the easiest 5 plus 5 plus in no buildable power you could ever want, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's not good having not block on the carrier, is it? I would have rather had block on the carrier. But, um... Yes. I just didn't want to risk the pick-up with a block guy. In the place it was. Good hand-off to him now, maybe. Um, yeah. right. Make some blocks. Lads, boys, lads. Getting the removals now. No one could blitz that, that guy because he's a bit of a pain in the ass, isn't he?
Let's him go more central. I don't hate it. Bits him don't go more central. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Keeping the uh, witch health, even though it's giving away a block based up, is still a good idea, I think. Because now it, he's got to dodge as well, hasn't he? Or he just stands up and she blocks. And that's two players gone. Well, Count Cypher, I think that is a good idea. Honestly, I think... What I think would make Blood Bowl better would be... Fet, more incentive to play... And it's on the issue, is more inten more incentive, more incentive to play different races. Well, the fact that some races are designed better than others is part of Blood Bowl, isn't it? So... I think trying to force diversity is dumb. There's a reason that some, you know, it's a competitive environment. The teams are create aren't cre are created worse on purpose. Like halflings are meant to be worse than than fucking dark elves. So how do you force diversity? Or every and everyone everyone likes you know everyone plays whatever the fucking rowdiest team is. That's what's most popular always. Because people don't like getting fucking dicked on. So I think fundamentally changing Blood Bowl, the computer game, is what's required. But um, that's not going to be popular with anyone, really. <laughs> um, he doesn't want to score, does he? I'd like him to score with him. But he does have the agility 5 still. But, I mean, so much of his team is over here now. Hand off to him and he gets a touchdown. He hasn't made a cast. Unlikely to as well, he's not blocking much. Could hand off to Big Boy, get him blocked. Right. Let's make a screen all around. After making a screen, make a cage as well. <laughs> and go for the handoff to Big Boy. Come on, Big Boy, you can do it. Sort of thing, and you can't a lot of the time you can't ask experienced people because experienced people like Andy are completely against the MVP rule 
you know? The, the, the Blood Bowl 2016 MVP rule. And that a lot of them are averse to change, aren't they? Which is bad. So, you know, uh, I can't remember. I can never remember the name of the guy. Pyrian Flax. There you go, remembered it. Um, yeah, I was just trying to get my guy skilled up, wasn't I? Um, Pyrian Flax, you know, his, his input is just as important, really, because he's, like, super casual, isn't he? And, uh, you know, he was saying, like, the players need to fucking need to level up faster and uh and all this kind of stuff people dying sucks it, and it does you know and just because people who've played a lot are used to their guys fucking dying you know that's just because people are used to the players dying it the vets are used to the players dying doesn't mean that new players should get used to it as well does it you know Yeah, exactly, RS2000 heads, that is the thing. That is the big thing, yeah. Yeah, that is the big problem with it. So I think fundamentally changing it is a good idea, but still. Exactly, Grindel, I can never forget that. And, you know, and they, a lot of people have this attitude, um, you know, with, with other games. But because they've had to endure something, everybody else has to endure it, you know, which is, I don't like that. That's a, that's a common factor for a lot of things, isn't it? Um, do I three dice that guy? I can still make a good cage, can't I? Left him quite in, uh, way easier shot than I should have left him, but wanted to try and get a Kaz on the claw mighty blow guy. Uh, no, the sands should be on him for Augustus, uh, unless I don't know. There's a cooldown. Maybe it could be in that. Yeah. You can have progression with res though, you know? Or progression with miss next games and all sorts of stuff. So... But whatever happens, the fucking ship has sailed, hasn't it? You know? The, the ship has sailed. That is that is the thing, as far as Cyanide are concerned. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why the cunt didn't work. It's, it's on there, other people have done it. But Sparta worked. Um, yeah, this, the thing with, uh, I mean, that, that was a way too easy shot, wasn't it, this? This was a way too easy shot. I shouldn't have. It's fucking bad, that. Bad to leave him such an easy shot. But, um... But I just, I just literally just wanted the three dice. And, uh, would like to three dice again. But obviously with with block this time. No cars this game. <laughs> I'd, like to see, I'd like to see the stats on the blocks made by Claw Mighty Blow. Uh, no cars at all. 
Alright, thanks Grindel, see you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the greatest one, but that's only for like people who want to win, isn't it, in Champs Ladder. For people who just want to pick up and play, they can pick up and play, but then the problem for them is being down TV to people who have grinded. Isn't it? So... You know, like you play on day two of the ladder and you're playing against Crucifer who's got 600 TV on you. Which is just fucking bollocks, isn't it, for game two. For day fucking two. Is, uh Is just absolute fucking bollocks. Got a movement eight, and he's got frenzy. Fuck it, let's let's set up properly. Strength four guys around there, not get fucking that. Block claw mighty blow warrior is way better than a than a plus strength piece man. I think way more valuable. Yeah, exactly busy. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. There will always be the link for 24 7 hours of an implant engine. Balancing the teams, but there you go, the, the teams aren't meant to be balanced, so you again you fundamentally change Blood Bowl if you make the teams not balanced. Season 1 was absolute madness here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll never be zero grind yet, yeah, absolutely. The ELO thing, I don't think it'll make a lot of difference. You know, I really don't think, unless it, unless, the ELO will make it, the ELO will make it streaky, won't it? The, the ELO will make it streaky. That, that's what the ELO does. Just makes it, puts a great emphasis on streaks. That, that, that's all. So, I mean, I wouldn't be dead against it. But I also wouldn't be dead for it either. Good morning, bloody Greek. Yeah. Yeah, well, to be fair, that's what they're talking They're talking about the prize money. Um, that's the thing. So, yeah, I mean, definitely, if you spread the prize money around between all the races, if you spread the money around all the races, then uh, then that's good, isn't it? Oh, hello, Fashbinder. What's simply not true? <laughs> Of course that's what Elo does, because <laughs> of course it rewards streaks. That's absolutely what Elo does, because if you lose, you will be losing to somebody who's worse than you. You know, almost certainly, almost certainly you'll be losing somebody who's worse than you. And even, that's just how Elo works, isn't it? Look, if, if you lose one and then win nine... You end up with a higher ELO than if you win nine and lose one. That's just the way it works. That's literally the way ELO works, isn't it? So, you know that that's what it would that's what it would end up because you would end up with a high one, and so you're going to lose more if you lose after nine wins than if you lose after no wins, aren't you? Obviously, there's no other way they can do it, regardless of whether they have TV TV factored in. However, they do it. Um. It, it, it absolutely. It's a benefit. Streaks, doesn't it? That's what it. That it becomes more about streaks. Hundred percent. But it also means you're crippled by late season losses in a way. So it encourages sitting on on your record. Yeah, it is very difficult to quantify. Yeah. He's just playing for the riot. Then he he gave up on the one turn. But the riot is an easy fucking score for him, isn't it? I 
<laughs> Thanks for crazy <laughs> Start every team with a tactical loss here. Yeah. I I just think there's no point in either. No, Elo would, would reduce the spamming in, in day one to three because when Dode made his Elo thing, there's a picture of it, and I was second, Spartaco was first, and uh, Crucifer was 8,257th. <laughs> so, so something went wrong with his first attempt at it. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Sean. Yeah, exactly. I could have. I mean, look at this Chaos team. This Chaos team would... Would now okay now it's got two claw mighty bow it's got a chance, but you know before it had crew two claw mighty bow and it only had one claw mighty blow it was still a hundred TV above uh, above super fun team we wouldn't have a chance. Really. He has friends. He uh, he still gave up on the one turn though, didn't he? All right now maybe he hasn't. Oh, yeah. One away, maybe there's been two away because the frenzy. Oh, bollocks. Oh, he's got a quick snap. Oh, shit. Yeah, maybe I should have gone two back because the frenzy. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah, he's got frenzy. Oh, bollocks. Oh, bollocks. I'm gonna draw. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, I should have gone two away, but then you still got us with a quick snap. You just still got us with a quick snap anyway. He's got no re rolls at least, but he's caught the ball. All right, good. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right. That was good then. Um. Yeah, of course he was into the team with the player. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um. You do have a better chance two hundred TV up than an even TV. Yeah, that's true. Wolf Park. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, and yeah, fun fact, and that is a suggested house rule in the in the proper rules as well. There you go. That was a storybook ending. Yeah, I realised I'd fucked up, and then didn't matter because oh god, man, these these wins re rolls. I've re rolled a two into one twice and a three into two. <laughs> Rolling dice is not my, not my thing. Oh, and he got the MVP anyway to level up. Oh, that's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. Um, Thirty-six blocks. Did it? He wanted all right in his dodges. Some were five pluses, weren't they? Broke armor fourteen times. Didn't cast him once. Did did really good breaking his armor though, but to not make a cast out of fourteen AV breaks. His uh, sad times, isn't it? His GFIs were not good. His pickups were not good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and he only broke armor once, but it didn't have that many chances. The pickups were a bit dodgy. Catches out. Oh, the catches were scatters anyway, weren't they? And the going for its wrong point, even though the one was by mistake. <laughs> Block dice. Mid. Made a lot of blocks with Claw Mighty Blow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen blocks with Claw Mighty Blow. And uh, is it Grinch Fag or the other one? So another another two. Oh no, Mr. Throws the one, isn't he? Oh fuck, I fucked it up. Anyway. More. A lot of blocks with with Claw Mighty Blow and Hulk cards. But loads of loads of armor breaks, so at the end of the day, stuns and KOs are, are, are enough a lot of the time, aren't they? I just want star player points. I wasn't moaning from a winning the game standpoint. Obviously the armor breaks are really good for winning games. Even if they're not cars. But cars are nice to get star player points. Right, give him block. Big boy block. And uh, obviously block on Trifago. I mean, Wrestle's kind of cool, but 
With strength four, I want him standing, don't I? Oh man, movement. <laughs> can think about it. <laughs> can think about. Can think about the bloke goat there for a minute. And uh, see what this guy gets. Hmm. He probably gets guard. I am, I'm almost certainly going to take block on the, on the strength guy. Uh, nah, I don't think that. I don't think strength is worth it, really. <laughs> no block goat. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Harry Koo. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I wasn't moaning that I wasn't, you know, the KOs were good. The, the KOs and the stuns were good for winning the game. Obviously, did win the game. It was uh, it was no problem there. But, um, I think I could go Frenzy on the strength guy. I'll show your hands. They're all val There's a lot of valid choices for the strength guys, to be honest. Anyway, um, right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.